When I came into the 12-step program of Alcoholics Anonymous many years ago, one of the steps that baffled me was step three, turning our will and our lives over the care of God as we understood Him. I understood what they meant by God and turning our will over to God. I understood that, that part, you know, the actual turning it over. But I didn't know what the will was. What are they talking about my will? I thought the will of God would be my emotions. That's what I thought. I turned my emotional life over to the care of God. That's what, I, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. So I used to try and do that, pray and you know, turn my emotions, my anger and everything over to God. And you know, that's kind of okay to do. So I thought anyways. But then I heard what Bill W. said in his writings, that most of the alcoholic problem with the alcoholic living one day at a time is in his mind, in between the ears, you know? The gray matter in between our ears. The way we think about ourselves, the world around us. And the way we think, and if we think correctly and turn our will and life over to God as we understood Him, our lives will become better because our lives are our behavior. Okay? And so that's the way I started to understand it. Our will in our lives is the way we think. When you get older, or if you have children, you've probably written a will out. And a will is basically the way we're thinking at that time and the way we want to leave our money, our possessions to the people, our last will and testament, our last thoughts before we die. This is what we want to do. So the will is the way we think. And to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God is just saying that we need to start rethinking the way we're thinking. Because most of alcoholics, when they're in recovery, is our thinking is distorted a lot. It really is, especially at step three. We've really done, we haven't really done much. It's most of being steps, like sort of steps that we just kind of do. We don't really have much behavior change in those first three steps, one, two, and three. But turning our will over to a higher power, or for what I did, I didn't really believe in God 100%. I understood it, but I didn't think they would help me. I turned my will and my life over to my home group. I turned my will over my life over to a sponsor, and I'd bounce things off them in my problems and difficulties in life one day at a time, and my thinking changed because I started to do a new way of living. I started to think differently. So... And like I said before, because I started to think differently, my life got better. And the reason my life got better, because my behavior got better. And my behavior is my life. That is my life. That's how it's demonstrated, is through my behavior. So the will that I look at now is the way I think. My thinking was distorted. My thinking was not was not right. Even if you're off the booze and you're in recovery and you're leading a life, a better life one day at a time, well, you might find that at times when you are distracted or you're in anger or you feel hurt or you feel jealous or you feel hopeless, all that kind of stuff, a lot of it's generating from our mind. We think first, we feel second, and then it bounces back up into our brain and then we react on those feelings and thoughts that become our lives. So if we turn our lives over to a higher power, pause and pray or let it go to a higher power, our thinking will change into a, hopefully into a better way. But if you have a hard time doing that like I did, I just found somebody that I trusted in the program, a mentor or a sponsor that helped me with my thinking for I could make better choices one day at a time for myself for myself but my higher power talks through different people my god of my understanding is in my home group is in other people talking to me and me believing what they say is a better way to lead my life god talks to us in many different ways talks to us through higher power uh, just in meditation and prayer that kind of way but for myself when I hear other people speak to me, when I have a difficulty in my life, it kind of resonates within me and, and, and helps me a lot. Even in my 
you know, when I go to counseling and through prayer and I go to counseling and I do all that kind of stuff, it helps me out make better decisions. So the long and short of it, the will is our thinking. The mask between our ears. That gray matter that a lot of alcoholics never use until they got sober. And our lives are our behavior. Our life is our behavior. The way we act out. That becomes our life. Okay? So, what I'm trying to say... Oh, so I'm getting a little mixed up here. What I'm trying to say, don't worry about the higher power. Don't worry about that. That will come. Just get somebody that you trust if you have a problem with higher power and just believe what they're telling you is a better way of living. It's a better way of living. Any way was better than the way I was living in early sobriety. Any way was better. I was full of resentment. I was full of anger. I had tons of difficulties in my life. And when somebody suggested to me to do something a little different, it went a long way. It went a long way. It really did. I'm so grateful for the people in Alcoholics Anonymous. I'm so grateful for the therapists and the people that helped me out to make me start thinking in a different way and not so being so hard on myself and being so black and white with the world around me. The world has many shades of gray. The way I was thinking was totally insane because, you know, the step two, you know, return us to sanity. And then the will is our thinking. It all fits in. It all fits in. It really does, okay? So even when you think that you're not thinking properly because you're not reacting to a situation, well, let me tell you something. You're probably making progress. You really are, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an alcohol-free life channel where we learn to live sober one day at a time. Just remember, subscribe if you can. Hit that like button for sure. But just keep this in the back of your mind. Recovery, sobriety is freedom. It really is. Getting the shackles of alcohol away from us, that, that confinement, that, my friends, is true freedom. Freedom of self, freedom of bondage, freedom from the world that used to torture us. Ciao for now. My name is Terry G, and I'm a grateful alcoholic. Ciao.